Hello world, Lady Mega Lucario here, and it's time for a Poke update since we've had more trailers come out for Pokemon Let's Go. Yep, the Go counter is back, and it's going to be a thing right up until the game's release. Sorry about that. Maybe. So to open up the news, I was wrong in the last update. It's been proved that the Pokemon that follow you can find items. They will get exclamation marks above their heads and dive off into the underbrush to pull out items for you. This has been demonstrated to work for not just the early stage Pokemon, but fully evolved ones as well. We now have a map for the region, and it's had a massive update in its graphics, and the gyms in particular are looking stunning in this version of the game. The massively improved arenas have seating for people to watch, diving boards in Misty's gym, and the greatly improved version of the gym leaders, although I note that Misty still has the Starmie who was fond of wrecking me with its bubble beam in red, blue, yellow. We run into Jesse, James and Meowth at some point, though they were only on screen for a few moments, so we don't know much about what they're up to. Trace apparently has an Eevee in at least one of the games, and we see us pick from three Pokeballs at the start of the game. I'm kind of curious what those other balls hold, although you can pretty much guarantee one of them holds the other starter. I'm assuming that's where Trace gets his Eevee. Your partner Pokemon is not a fixed gender, it can be male or female. In the past, if you had Eevee, there would not have been an easy way to tell, but they've included a gender difference in this game. Eevee's tail now looks like an upside down heart from the front, and this pattern continues all the way around the tail. It'll be interesting to see if this carries over to the other Eevees that you get, and whether the Eeveelutions in Let's Go now have a gender difference of their own. I kind of hope they do, even if it's as simple as male Jolteon having bigger spikes and female Sylveon having longer ribbons. That's not the only change to the look of your partner Pokemon. You can give them haircuts, or even put them in matching outfits that coincide with what your trainer wears. It's kind of cool, though part of me wonders what the clothes are made of to survive battles. Kevlar, maybe? Uh, maybe I should go into that later. It looks like a Pokemon and Me style feature has been included to allow for interactions between yourself and your partner, though at the current time we don't know if it extends to any other Pokemon. It also looks like we'll be able to fight the legendary Pokemon before we try to capture them, which I admit I was worried about before. While I like the fact that we can get the legends we missed during their raid periods via the research feature in Pokemon Go, it feels much more satisfying to battle with them to get them into capture mode, as you feel like you've truly earned that catch. It makes me happy to see that we should be able to battle the legends, because come on, they're legends, they shouldn't be easy to catch. They show off more of the riding feature for Pokemon, making me curious whether we'll have HMs at all, or whether things like Surf will be replaced by riding on your water Pokemon, for example the Lapras as shown in the trailer, and Fly will be replaced by something like Charizard or any other large flying type Pokemon. The version exclusives were announced on Nintendo of Europe's Twitter account. Let's go Pikachu will have Oddish, Sandshrew and Growlithe, or Let's go Eevee has Bellsprout, Vulpix and Meowth. This means that if you want the Pokemon from the other versions, you will need a friend to trade with. Luckily, we have had an awesome announcement regarding trading that tells us that not only will we be able to trade with people locally, but we can trade online too. We can actually trade with our friends in other countries. This makes me really happy because I'll be getting Let's Go Pikachu while my fiancé is getting the Eevee version and there's now no guarantee I'll be in the same country as her when they're released. We can still help each other fill up the Pokedexes thanks to this announced online trading. Well that's it for now. More and more information is slowly coming to light as the duo's release date gets ever closer, and I'll keep up these Poke updates as long as I have information to share. This is Lady Megalucario, signing out.